Hello class, this is going to be the first of a series of videos designed to help you review for the lab final. I'm producing these per the request of some students that wanted another uh, resource for them as they were preparing. So the pictures I've given you are going to be a good resource. Um, however, some find them difficult. This will hopefully supplement that a little bit um, to give you an idea uh, of what things would look like on an actual specimen. It is still two-dimensional. Um, you won't be able to manipulate or move things around and I'll try and, and, and give good views or best views I can possibly give of, of specific structures as I'm going through it. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of what the lab final will be like. Um, hopefully by this point we will have reviewed in class and given you a couple of practice uh, opportunities for you to see what we're dealing with. Um, so if you're looking for the quiz you can fast forward a little bit. Um, I will also put the answers to the quiz in the description of this video. Um, so don't cheat and, um, and look down uh, in the description. Hopefully you can go through it and then come back and review um, and see how you've done. If you do glance down there, it's not going to be as, uh, as useful for you, um, but might be helpful one way or another. So just to give you an idea of the uh, lab final and what you should expect, um, when you come in there will be a number of specimens throughout the room and they will all be pinned with numbers. So just to give you an idea, here is a typical T-pin, the number on it, and it would be placed anywhere throughout the specimen. So I'm going to throw this here into the uh, into the pectoralis minor. Um, as you're going through the the test, just a couple of things to note. Um, the structure I'm looking for is the first thing that the pin goes through. All right, there are going to be times where I may have to anchor it to something else, but look at the first thing the pin is inserted through. Um, Secondly, it's going to be important for you to be as descriptive as possible. Uh, make sure you're using things like right and left, um, using full terms, um, and not abbreviating. That way it gives me a better idea uh, of what you are um, trying to explain uh, when I'm grading them. All right, so. And go ahead and get started on the quiz. I'm going to just point to things um, and provide as little description as possible um, unless it is necessary. So, all right, practice quiz number one is this muscle right here. Number two, I'm going to move down. this muscle right here. You can see it has been reflected or separated. So this is number two. Number three, I'll move back up and roll to the side, it is this muscle right here. Number four, we'll move to the forelimb. Number four is going to be, zoom in just a little bit so you can get a better view of this forelimb. Um, so number four is right here. Number five, I'm going to flip over, get this position correctly. A better view mm -hmm. is this one. So that's number five. Number six. Back to the upper forelimb. This muscle here that has been reflected. Number six. Number seven, we'll move down to the lower limb, zoom out 
a little bit. So we have a good view on this side. Get that set for us. Number seven is this muscle here. For reference, it has been reflected. Number eight. Back to the other side is dissected a little bit better for this one. So we'll get number seven out of the way and we will roll to the side for number eight. Move down to number nine. And then shift back over to number 10. So feel free to fast forward or rewind for any of those numbers. Take a closer look and then you can refer to the description for the answers. Hope you did well.